Now the individual who will next be up on stage is another co-founding member of the Newton Rockton Memorial Society. He is a 1991 graduate of Notre Dame. He has spent his career in the film industry and has, I think, a very interesting presentation and announcement for you. From Shoreview, Minnesota, Mr. Mike Dean. You know, before there was big time football schools, before there was big time conferences, before there was big name coaches, before there was big contracts, there was a coach in the 1920s who set the blueprint and the standard for all future coaches. And of course, talking about New Brock. And we're here to honor him tonight. I'm here to tell you that we're going to start working on a documentary about his life. A documentary? About Luke Bakke? Are you kidding me? How exciting is that? When I graduated in 1991, and I've had a chance to work on some really fun projects, mostly in the inspirational family and faith-based uh, stories. But Luke Bakke? get a chance to work on that and have that as part of your slate. How exciting is that? I, I, I mean, you don't always get a chance to choose the projects that you want to work on. And I mean, I've got a, an eight-year-old and a 12-year-old. And so sometimes you've got to you know, choose the things, not always the products you want to work on. But, you know, Muffet, she's only got so many scholarships that she can give out of here, right? So I had to keep working. <laughs> so it's saving money. And when I was you know, back at 11, 12 years old, and I was discovering my love for editing and production. This is where you wanted to go, to do a project about new rock. This is, this is a dream come true. This is a round peg and a round hole. I mean, I could not be more excited, this is a dream come true, to work on this, this project. So, when you think about Notre Dame and the, the, the founding and the, the roots of Notre Dame, I mean, where else would you want to start? I mean, with Duke Rock, I mean, other than Father Soren, there's already a play being done about him. But then you think, well, it's been almost you know, 90 years. This is probably covered ground, right? Well, I think what Jim's book, Code for a Nation, showed is there really has never been a comprehensive biography done until he did his book. And there's so many more lessons that Jim was able to uncover in his research about Rocky, about his perseverance, about his courage, and, and, and about the way he connected with his players, and about how so many people that played for him went on to become coaches. There's a lot more to the story, and there's much more to tell. And, you know, to, to have a, a, uh, a compelling story for a documentary, a true story, is not an easy thing to do. When you went and saw the Titanic, you knew at the end the boat wasn't going to float. Right? So, with the Rocky story, people know he has a great history on the field, but there's so much more to it than that. He was an immigrant, he came here at age five. There was so much he had to get through. So his story, his character, his philosophy, really transcends football and athletics and can apply to helping anybody do well and, and, and succeed in, in any career they want to do. So that's what's great about the lessons from Rocky is that it's still relevant today. I mean, you, I feel like in, in, in our society today that we're missing these types of stories about a, a man like this who, who was able to accomplish so much and, and, stay, and stay with his goals. And so I, here it is almost a, a century later, it's still a very relevant story that I think for young, young people and young coaches that will see this, and maybe if, if two or three coaches watch this documentary someday and become coaches, well, then we've, we've accomplished our goal. I'm not be excited about that. But we're gonna be able to do so much more. And you know, to make a film is, is not an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of people, it takes a, a lot of commitment, and a lot of work. So if you're going to do it, let's make sure it's going to make a difference. And, you know, when you see the credits, you're, you're watching a movie, and you see the credits at the end, and, and 
You know, I just watched the latest Avengers movie, and there was 4,000 people who worked in that movie. And I'm thinking, did it really take that much? Well, it's, 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 it's a hard thing to do. But I think with this project, I mean, the Rock Music Society were, were a foundation. And I think for our movie, a lot of the people that will be on that credit list might be here in this room. We don't really do any your support to make this happen. And dollars that go into the movie might eventually first pay for a camera to get us to where we're rolling our camera, maybe, you know, this winter. But then the movie, the profits, will go back into the foundation and help support doing coaching clinics and doing more things and some of the things that, that Jim keeps dreaming up of, how we can keep Rockney's legacy alive. So it's very exciting. And so, and one last thing, I found this quote when it's talking about Rockney's life in the book. To his players, he was a brother, a father, a teacher, a coach, a confessor, a guiding spirit, a resident psychiatrist, a moving force, a cheerleader, an advisor, a collaborator, a doctor, a foreman, an employment bureau, and a friend. To his players, he radiated a rare sort of confidence and comfort. Rocky packed a lot of living into his 43 years. He really was a man for others. And I think that's what the story is in the documentary, is to, to show that how young people again, uh, young coaches, and you and I here can see that example and learn from it, and how we can do that in our own lives. And that would be a great film. And so I'm excited to bring this forward. You know, Rockney inspired a lot of people in the locker room with speeches. But he stirred a nation with his incredible record and what he did in Notre Dame. But I think there's a generation that doesn't know him. And how great would it be to, to share his story now with this, this documentary. So I'm, I'm excited to present this teacher, or to present this teaser to you. And in the words of Rockney, we're gonna go, go, go until we get this across this goal line and make this, this production happen. We hope you'll get behind it and help us. Um, come up and talk to Jim and I if you have questions, you wanna get behind us and support this. And go Irish. He changed how the game of football was played, coached, watched, and promoted. He inspired a nation with an unyielding dedication to achieving excellence with honor. He showed countless coaches from coast to coast how to positively influence young lives. Now the life and legacy of the great Newt Rockne is explored as never before to show a 21st century audience what we can learn today from this masterful teacher. Coming in 2019, Rockne, immigrant to icon. He was a son of a faraway village, Voss, Norway. One of millions drawn to American shores, to America's promise. At Notre Dame, he excelled in academics, reached heights in athletics, made an impact on others. Rock teamed with Gus Doré to create the first great passing duo. In his day, Notre Dame was a place for Catholic immigrants to find themselves and chart their future. Rockney was certainly the person that put uh, Notre Dame on the map for all of these Catholics and uh, football was uh, one of the means that they could follow us. In time, Newt Rockney became coach of the Fighting Irish and a household name nationwide, leading Notre Dame to unparalleled success on the field and deep admiration off of it. There are so many lessons to be learned from Rockney's life and relearned and Jim Fave and his extensive biography on Rockney has really pulled that out. I read everything I could about that era, of course, including several Rockney biographies. I determined that there was not a proper, comprehensive, definitive biography of Rockney. The story is really a compelling one, and one that I think needs to be told in as many ways as possible. He was a world of personal connection. His dedication to his players brought their unending loyalty. Five undefeated seasons, three national championships, a winning percentage of 881, highest in major college football history. 
Rackney's stamp on American football was deep. And he mentored coaches from coast to coast. He taught during the summer at these summer coaching schools. So he really helped professionalize the whole job of being a football coach. He operated coaching clinics, wrote books and articles, gave speeches, designed and endorsed equipment, helped place coaches in schools everywhere, rubbed shoulders with dignitaries, and was an in-demand celebrity himself. Rockney became one of the most off-quoted Americans of his time. People always want to know, what does Rock have to say? On a shocking death in 1931, his great friend, humorist Will Rogers, said of Rockney, Notre Dame was your address, but every gridiron in America was your home. His life of achievement stands the test of time and can lead the way for many yet today. In this film, we'll dig further into the legacy of Rockney and talk to people that were connected to him and hear more about the Rockney legend and hear some of those rare stories that have never been told. Honing in on his roots, his character, and more than anything, his influence on the lives of so many. This film will celebrate Rockney's life in a way that no other work has done before. Rockney, immigrant to icon.